In this lecture, we're going to detect whether the application is running in a debug mode or not. Let's start off by installing the Cordova plugin named Cordova plugin is debug. After that, we need to install the Ionic native wrapper for this plugin by saying npm install Ionic native slash is debug. This plugin is supported at the moment on Android and iOS only. So do take that into account if you're looking at using it on devices other than iOS or Android. And with that said, let's open up inside of our editor. We can, of course, start by going to appmodule.ts. And we can import is debug. from Ionic Native slash is debug. And after that, we can go down to our providers list and add it to the list of providers as we always do with an Ionic Native plugin. After that, we can head over to the components or page in which you want to use this. And we can make a function named is debug, or you could simply add this to the constructor or an initialization function. And as this returns a promise, we will add async is debug. And we will console the errors. And we will add a try catch that logs out any error. And inside of here, and inside of our try block, we need to first off inject is debug inside of our constructor. And remember, is debug does come from Ionic Native, so we'll make sure you import that. And as we've called this variable here is debug, I will rename our function for check debug. And therefore we can say const is debug, and that's gonna be a Boolean, true or false. And therefore inside of our try, we can say const result is equal to and this result will be either a boolean true or false. This dot is debug dot get is debug. We can therefore log this out to the console. And that should determine whether our application is either in development mode, for example, we're deploying it from the Ionic CLI, Xcode or Android Studio or whether we're downloading it from the store and it's been appropriately signed. So in order to call this function, I'm gonna change the navbar title to is debug, and add a small amount of color and a button. The click event will of course have the check debug function with the text of check debug. Let's now run this on our device with Ionic Cordova run Android L. Like I said, you can substitute that for iOS if you want. And this will go ahead and add the Cordova platform for Android and run it and install it on the device. So here we are, it has appeared on the device and we can of course now check to see whether we're in debug mode. So I'm gonna click check debug. And of course we find out that we have missed the awaits from our promise. So let's go back and do that again. All we need to do is simply add await right here because we want to resolve that promise and log out, not the promise itself, but instead the result. So make sure you add await before get is debug. And of course, if we check once more and we click check debug, we can of course find out, yep, we do get the results of true and we are of course in debug mode. If we were to deploy this to the app store and we were to check again and download this as a production signed version, then we would not be in debug mode and this would be false. So that's how we use isDebug inside of our Ionic applications.